All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at 2 Samuel chapter 2, verses 18 through 23, and just taking a look at exactly what's going on with Abner's spear. So if you don't know already, I see much of the Bible as propaganda. If you want to learn more about that, I will link to uh, my video about that in the description. And so what I'm going to be proposing today is that the Biblic author is going to be subverting the narrative by taking the elements from an oral tradition about Abner, taking those elements and then putting them into a new context in order to change the meaning. And the elements from the original narrative, I refer to those as echoes. And I'm going to be trying to show you today uh, a, a visual representation of an echo. And overall, 2 Samuel is very pro-Abner, uh, which may seem kind of odd since Abner was an adversary of David. Uh, but biblical, biblical authors will often take uh, those who were previously enemies and make them into... Uh, friends because it was political, politically advantageous at the time. Uh, and so this is no exception here. Uh, it seems that the descendants of David uh, are trying to quell this dispute between the descendants of Abner and the descendants of Joab. All right, so just to summarize what's going on here, uh, the brother of Joab, Joab was the commander for David, and Joab's brother was Asael. And so uh, Asa, Asahel is going to be chasing Abner, who was the commander for Saul. And Abner is going to uh, take a spear. And we have this odd little detail in the narrative here where it says, Abner struck him in the belly with the butt end of the spear so that that spear came out at his back. So... Uh, I've taken my crude modeling skills here, and I've tried to show what this may have looked like here with Asael uh, chasing Abner, and then Abner uh, trying to avoid uh, being caught, but finally turning and then ramming the butt end of the spear through Asahel. And uh, technically, the spear would have gone through his stomach, not his chest, but uh, I don't feel like going back and change that in the modeling, so you just have to use your imagination. Uh, but, yeah, so I think it may have looked something like this. And what I'm proposing is that this part of the narrative is an echo, an echo from the original narrative. And I think that because if you take this echo and you change the context, it still makes sense. So if we put, take Abner and we put Abner behind Asael, that echo still makes sense. And in some ways, it makes more sense. So what I'm proposing is this hypothesis, that Asahel was running away when Abner, Abner killed him with a spear. And so this wasn't politi politically advantageous for the uh, biblical author at the time, and so the biblical author needs to change that narrative. And that's exactly what they do. So the biblical author is going to be, uh, turns Asahel into a, into a fast runner, so it explains the oral tradition of Asael running is not because Asael was running away. Uh, it was because he was chasing Abner. And we see that here. Asael was a, as swift-footed as one of the gazelles, which is in the field. And then the, the biblical author has Asael pursue Abner instead of Abner pursuing Asael. So it says, Asael pursued Abner and did not turn to the right or to the left from following Abner. Then Abner looked behind him and said, Is that you, Asael? And he answered, It is I. So making sure everyone knows that Asael was behind Abner and not Abner behind Asael. And this is also makes Asael looks, look better in the narrative, right? He's not running away like a, a coward, uh, but he is chasing down the commander of Saul. So this uh, changed narrative would have been a little easier to swallow for the descendants of, of Asael and Joab. All right, and then the biblical author makes Abner reluctant to kill Asael. So it says, so Abner said to him, turn to your right or to your left and take hold of one of the young men for yourself and take for yourself his spoil. But Asael, 
uh, was not willing to turn aside from following him, Abner repeated again to Asael, Turn aside from following me. Why should I strike you to the ground? How then could I lift my lift up my face to your brother Joab? However, he refused to turn aside. So, biblical author portraying, portraying Abner as trying to avoid conflict at all costs. He doesn't want to start a uh, dispute with his brother Joab. Uh, and so this is how the biblical author portrays it. All right, and then finally, it, uh, biblical author reverses the direction of the spear. And it says, Abner struck him in the belly with the butt end of the spear so that the spear came out at his back. And so this uh, detail about it going into his uh, belly may have been an attempt to make it more believable. Right? So pushing the butt end of a spear through the belly is would be easier than pushing it through the chest. Uh, but even then, it would be pretty tough to, to do that. So it still comes across as a little bit odd. But uh, that is the biblical author's attempt. All right, so that is it for today. Thanks for watching.